Item number 4252 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Blam Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures SCP-4252-A is held in an airtight, windowless room, structurally disconnected from Site-96. The room filters into a 200,000-liter drum buried below the site. On the first of every month, SCP-4252's activation phrase, as found on SCP-4252-B, should be vocalized. Upon the manifestation of SCP-4252, all personnel present must bow, referred to as Lord Jetusant, and each recite one of the complimentary phrases provided below. You are so wise, Lord Jetusant. You are so brave, Lord Jetusant. You are so kind, Lord Jetusant. You are so small, Lord Jetusant. You are so pure, Lord Jetusant. Lord Jetusant, you spoil us with your grace. Your smallness is immensely large, O Jetusant the Mighty King. I am lucky to be in your presence, Lord Jetusant. Long live, Lord Jetusant. Once SCP-4252 gives a command, all personnel are to avert their eyes, and all cameras are to be temporarily disabled for the duration of 30 seconds, at which point cameras are to be re-enabled, and all activities are to resume as usual. Description. SCP-4252-A refers to a collection of four objects, hereby referred to as SCP-4252-A1, SCP-4252-A2, SCP-4252-A3, and SCP-4252-A4, all of which are filled with baked beans. SCP-4252-A1 is a clock, identical to a Bernard Products brand quartz wall clock. SCP-4252-A2 is a brown leather briefcase of unknown make. SCP-4252-A3 is a cardboard coffee cup sporting the Starbucks Coffee Company logo. SCP-4252-A4 is a 2015 Toyota Highlander. Prior to Incident 01, all four objects had the same anomalous properties, but following the event, SCP-4252-A1 has been neutralized. SCP-4252-A2, SCP-4252-A3, and SCP-4252-A4 infinitely produce baked beans via unknown methods. Probing the interiors has found no evidence of any physical passage through which the baked beans enter, indicating that they manifest directly within the objects. There is no known way to stop the beans from being produced. Without the use of SCP-4252, the beans would breach containment in less than three months. SCP-4252 is a humanoid entity no more than half a meter tall. It wears a long silk robe covered in jewels, and a crown made of bronze, with a single ruby ovoid in the center. SCP-4252 is able to manifest and demanifest. However, prior to Incident 01, it was only ever observed to appear when a specific phrase found on SCP-4252-B was spoken. SCP-4252-B is a fabric ribbon of unknown origin. Written across the face, in gold sequins, is the following phrase. Jetusant the Mighty King, please bless our presence with your own. Consume our bubbling Venus bile from up atop your sparkling throne. Once every month, when the phrase is spoken out loud, SCP-4252 will manifest nearby and request all those around it to bow and shower it with compliments. It will become increasingly agitated if these needs are not met swiftly, and has threatened to demanifest following further non-compliance. Once SCP-4252 is satisfied, it will locate SCP-4252-A and proceed to consume all the baked beans that have been produced. However, personnel attempting to monitor this, either through direct observation or via camera recording, are met with a request by SCP-4252 to stop watching it, as it quote, can't do it when people are looking, unquote. Because of this, no visual evidence exists of SCP-4252's removal of the baked beans. 
but audio recordings indicate the sounds of a viscous substance being violently disturbed. When all the beings are removed, SCP-4252 will demanifest, leaving with a forceful belch, the loudest of which has measured at well over 120 decibels. Attempting to summon SCP-4252 again by means of its activation phrase are met with a dial tone, and a voice recording of SCP-4252 indicating that it is quote, not ready yet, give me a month and I'll get back to you, unquote. Further attempts result in a dial tone. Incident 01 2202-1904 April 6, 2019 A humanoid figure, similar in size to SCP-4252 but with a tall pointed hat and a blue robe, manifests in SCP-4252-A's containment room. It looks frantically around before removing a long red wand from a pocket in its robe. It points the object at SCP-4252-A1, and a bolt of green light shoots out of it, hitting SCP-4252-A1. 2202-3827 April 6, 2019 SCP-4252 manifests and tackles the figure. They wrestle for 30 seconds at which point the intruder grabs SCP-4252's arm and breaks it. SCP-4252 screams, kicks the figure's head, and continues to do so until it stops moving. SCP-4252 steps away to breathe, then collapses on the ground in front of the figure's body, and begins to sob heavily. 2204-1310 April 6, 2019 SCP-4252 collects itself and leans over the body of the figure. It gingerly closes the body's eyes, whispers something inaudible, grabs the corpse, and demanifests. Note, following this incident, SCP-4252-A1 remains in a neutralized state. SCP-4252 continues to manifest as usual, but where its right arm was previously, there is now a mechanical replacement limb. Due to the self-manifestation of SCP-4252, it has been reclassified as Keter. <laughs>